Hey, Brian from Garage Mall. Today I have the Hinge Mate 300, and we're going to be opening it up and testing it. So, uh, if you're used to me at my like regular Garage Mall haul shirt, I'm working on the uh, the wood side, the mechanical side of the the studio today. So we're going to unbox this, and then I'll bring you over there and I'll show you how how this works. And let's open up and see everything that we get inside, and then uh, then we go from there. All right, so I'm going to cheat a little bit. Absolutely love this works zip snip. Sometimes I get carried away with it though. Right, so open all the sides up on that. Make that nice and easy to open up. Peel that completely back. So this is basically the kit, and it looks like it gives you a bunch of different measurements in here, which is really neat. Um, so these are going to be all your templates that you're going to have. So you got like all different size hinges. This is like your two and a half inch, your strike plate that you have, um, your latch plate. And basically, we are just going to be matching everything up. So that's your other structure, three and a half. So it has like a variety of sizes in there. And then this looks like um, kind of like your door jam front, door jam jig, per se. So it's going to like line this up. And I guess these templates fit in here. So that's a little bit better, a little bit better of a fit, I guess. Yeah, so you have to have it like perfectly straight. So, and then this is going to be um, your different holes that you can fit jig-wise into it. So it's a push-down setting, and then this knob turns, and then it's going to tell you exactly like what setting you're going to have this for and what size. Again, I'll explain that more when we are putting this on a section of wood and then we'll be able to size it up a lot better. So I like that it comes with a variety of different templates that you can put on there. So that was like your larger door hinge. I'm going to be using something a little bit smaller. Hang on one second. Okay, so I'm going to be using uh, two, different, two different size things. Okay, so I have a latch strike. So this is two and a quarter. So we're going to look for the two and a quarter latch, one eighth to two, one half by two and three quarters. So this is going to be the two and a quarter latch plate template that's right here. So that's what we're going to be using for that. And again, this will also fit into this template so you can line it up on your on your door on your door frame so we're going to be using that one and then we have a three inch door hinge that's a four so this is your three three inch door hinge and I'll just kind of open it up so you can kind of take a, take a look and see see how it is So that is your door hinge and it like fits perfectly in here so when we are beveling out you can see how how nice of a fit it's going to make inside uh, the door so okay so that's that um, it does come with a router bit and then some of these screws to help put down a jig down into your piece of wood and then this is the router bit We'll get the old Leverman out to get this tape off here. So 
So that is your router bit. And it comes with its little case so it doesn't dull out like flip flopping around inside your tool, tool boxes, your tool drawers. So let's open that up and we're going to put that away for safekeeping for now. And it looks like that is a. Uh, Miles Craft, so it's a half inch, and then it looks like it's going to be a quarter inch bit. So, yeah, it's a quarter inch bit. So, if you're looking, I just figured I'd measure. I mean, we can kind of tell by looking at it, but and then this will be the router bit, and basically, it will go around this jig, and then it will cut that hole and you can tell that it had a little bit of an overlap if you saw before so let me show you how that works so if you see it's not a perfect fit but it's going to get you that little edge of a lip that little like well, let's measure the bearing clearance so it is going to give you roughly an eighth of an inch all the way around and if we put our hinge into this little template, you'll be able to see that we basically have about an eighth of an inch all the way around. So that's why that looks like this jig might be a little bit too big for the hinge, but that is because when you're routing through the template, the bearing is gonna be riding along the inner edge of this this hinge plate. So it'll make a nice smooth cut all the way around and it'll give you an absolutely perfect fit for your three inch uh, hinge. Anyway, uh, let's get to using this and I'll show you how it works, how it performs and we go from there. So uh, stay tuned. Let me show you how it's done. I'm going to be using this uh, two by four. So it is an inch and a half. Some doors are a little bit thicker than this. Um, closet doors are some they're probably about this size but this is kind of like like a, a standard piece and just give you an idea of how this kit works and how you can make perfect cutouts for your hinges and your door latches um, it gives it a nice crisp professional look every single time and it's so easy to do I just want to go over a couple things real fast on how to use it um, so you get your template and this is basically we are going to be putting in a, a three inch hinge. So for the overhead camera, we get a good look at it. And then this is like basically kind of like your, your slide template. Now the markings and stuff on here, they're helpful as a, it's pretty much a guide, but every piece that you work on is going to be a little bit different. So you kind of have to customize it and use a little bit of common sense on exactly how to set this up. And what I mean by that is you have these little adjustable knobs that are on here. Um, overhead view I think I can probably get it a little bit better and you basically just kind of like twist it up and then you can like select it how close you want to get to your piece um, I had put some little magic marker markings on here so this is going to be the one and three quarter door plate that we're going to be using on here even though this is an inch uh, and a half usually with some doors you end up putting a quarter extra piece but again I'll show you how to kind of like line up so it is pretty much like some common sense on what where you want to do. But we're going to line it up here. And it comes with two screws that are included. And what I mean by some, some common sense, I'll show you in a second. And I keep saying that just because um, when I was starting to use this, I feel I have a little bit of common sense. Um, I wasn't getting the hinges and everything to line up properly on this. I felt like it was a little skewed. And... Um, depending on your door width like so if you have an inch and a half that you're using it's like a kind of like a standard you might put a, a eighth of an inch a quarter inch um, piece of wood on either side like a panel to sandwich it to have that like nice finished that nice finished look on a door so this is going to be basically kind of like a raw door or a door that you're going to be like using in like a closet or a bathroom or, or something but you can adapt it to anything. Okay so basically what I use is just a, a standard Phillips head and I'm going to be pushing down on this and you're going to line up these wood screws and try to get them. 
down. I mean, you're reasonably tight. You don't have to get it like, a, like super tight. Okay, so that template, it's ready to go and ready to use. So next, we are going to be setting up a router. It does come on a router bit. So with your router, what you're going to do is you're going to put it into a position where your guide goes up and down, and you basically are going to set the guide flush so it travels loosely back and forth, and then you're going to push your router down onto the wood, and then you're going to lift it up, and you're going to see where that mark is. Now, with your hinge, you have a certain width that you're going to be looking for, so basically kind of measure it up, and it usually ends up being like a notch or a notch and a half, uh, depending on how your router is set up. So what we'll do is we'll slide this back about a notch and a half, and then we are going to lock that into place. So now we are ready to, to basically cut our groove. But I'm going to put a uh, dust mask on. Always wear a uh, dust mask, safety equipment, uh, safety glasses, just to be safe. So let me just put these on, this on real quick. So obviously I'm not going to be talking through this mask, but I'll kind of show you, take it off, and then we'll finish up with it. All right, so basically our cut is complete. Um, if you notice when I was going through with the router, I was going on the outer edge, I was cutting through, and then I was kind of like going a crisscross around to make sure that I removed all the wood that we, we needed to remove. Now let's use the drill to undo the template. Now, just kind of clean up a little bit, but that makes a super nice fit with your hinge. I mean, look at that. It's nice and flush in there, and you don't have to worry about that rising up. So, I mean, that just does a nice, nice job, nice and clean, and a uh, little bit of sanding, setting that up, and you're good to go. These little holes that you're going to make on your door, very easy to fill with like a couple drops of wood glue and then that will completely disappear. A quick sand over it and you're ready to go. But that just makes a nice clean, clean, crisp design for your door frame um, and your door hinge. Uh, it's absolutely fantastic, super easy to use. Uh, next we are going to be going to the, uh, the door lock itself and how you want to set that up and uh, we'll be right back. All right, so this is our brass door latch and obviously, this is not going to be my door frame. I'm just going to use this as an example. But we're going to set this up so, again, it makes a nice clean fit. I'll show you how to drill a hole for this as well. Um, and then we're going to place it somewhere here. And again, just so we can have our jig ready. And again, some common sense here. So we are using a two and a quarter strike plate. So that is basically what that is. Kind of see it on the overhead camera pretty well. So we're going to be using that because that's about the dimensions we're going to use. And common sense how we're setting this up. And again, uh, we'll pop this template out. I'll put this one in for the door latch. And I'm not putting it in all the way because I want to make sure that I have the right configuration on this. That is going to be our configuration. And again, just some orientation that you have to go through. Make sure that you have to set up properly. 
and we are going to, as long as the camera view is okay, uh, we might move this back a little bit, I'm probably right about there, but you can tell from the door latch, it is going to hang over here because you're going to want that opening opened up for your door latch, and then we're going to put our screws back down. And I was like, since this is pine, this is actually pretty easy to start by hand. If you had oak or something like that, uh, you may want to start like with a pilot hole. Just kind of like hold this real quick, drill a quick pilot hole so these screws will sit in here uh, nice and easy. I mean, I can almost push these down with my hand, but we're going to screw this down. moved a little bit for me and sometimes I even put it at a slight angle just to make sure that it holds nice and well okay so we have this set up for our latch so let me put my dust dust mask back on and then we'll uh, we'll route this again and it's going to be the, the same process before I put my dust mask on. It's going to be the same process. You want to loosen this up, and then you want to basically sit this on top, pull the router out, let it plunge itself down, and then gently hold it into position. And now I know it's probably about a notch, notch and a half that's down to make this fit in there just about perfect. So we're going to lock that down. Now we're going to take my safety glasses off real quick, put my dust mask back on, and then I'll explain everything when we get back. Okay, so that template worked out great again. Let's move this out of the way real quick. And uh, it's probably a good idea to get a couple wood screws this size just to keep on hand. I've lost a couple. That might be me, but just to be, uh, be smart out there. So just clean this up a little bit and again, what a nice framed out piece of the camera get back into focus. And then we're going to put this strike plate basically in here. That is like super nice. Now, what you notice is this hinge is a little, little bit weird. And what I mean by that is it doesn't have that exact beveled corner on it. Uh, but it did, I don't have a straight plate one either. So that's kind of, a, kind of weird. But it's something you're going to encounter. But what I do is I take a small hammer and a wood chisel and then you want to straighten up that piece by just kind of like leaning into it like this. And hopefully I'm getting a good focus on that. But the only thing you're doing is you're just sliding your chisel along the edges. So you're going to be straightening that, straightening that piece up and you're going to cut that little corner out completely. And then just by hand, sometimes you might need a hammer, but you don't want to get too aggressive with it. And then just kind of go in and clean that little, little corner up a little bit. We'll come in from this way. Okay, we'll just raise that up a little bit. Just be nice and easy. Okay. And then again, that just helps that line up a lot better. Now, so that's where the hinge is going to go. Now, you have to make a hole for that latch to go down there. Now, you need to make a hole for the door lock to be able to go down there. So I use a 7 eighths drill bit, and then what I'm doing is I'm going to kind of find the center, 
and it doesn't have to be precise, but as close to the middle as possible. I'll take that hinge off, and then I will drill down. So you drill down only as deep as necessary. And then now when we flip this notch, this door latch over, it will sit nice and down in there. So you may have to drill this hole a little bit bigger depending on how deep that your door lock actually goes in. This one, I'm just gonna kinda go that, that way. But I hope that and that gives you a, I hope that gives you a really good idea on how you use this uh, Miles Craft Hinchmate 300. Uh, what a great kit, and uh, this will get your jobs looking absolutely like perfect and masterful. Anyway, Brian from Crouch Hall, thanks for watching, and uh, be safe out there.